Hello everybody welcome to my channel this is Ravi and I am going to explain you today interview question 23 that is what are the flags used for the statistical analysis using in the CDISC ADAM I am I would like to tell you what are the flags we are used in the ADAM uh, today's session okay and here first thing is analysis flag one that was related to subject level population flags nothing but if any flags related to one subject for all records this type of flags we can call it as subject level population flags the first flag is FASFL nothing but full analysis set of population flag what is this full analysis set population flag is it includes all subjects who are randomized irrespective whether they are were treated or not and who did not fail to satisfy a major criteria for example the study was it was a randomized study the randomization schedule was prepared and who has assigned the treatment in the randomization schedule those type of people having this full analysis set flag for example that subject has multiple records also all the records we need to populate this flag that's why we can call it as subject level population flag and the second flag is safety population flag a patient should be included if and only they actually received a study treatment even if it is a placebo this set of pop patients are grouped for analysis according to their treatment they actually received for example if a dosing was done and here safety population nothing but at least one treatment taken subject included in this safety analysis flag for example ex trtr ex dose who has who subject having the ex dose not equal to missing either ex trt not equal to missing those subjects we have an uh, consider as in the safety populations all the safety reports based on this safety population most of the you know uh, efficacy as well as some tables and listings included full analysis set population and the third population is ITTFL intent to treat population flag this was similar to the FASFL most of the time sometimes it may differ to the FASFL and ITTFL think about who has given the randomization it include both the randomization and ITFL but it was something different in some cases it is a concept implying that irrespective of whether of some of these patients may have switched or discontinued treatment prior to the trial scene generally exclusion randomization place patients from the FAS has to be justified prior to breaking the blind okay and fourth one is PR PP RO TFL nothing but per protocol population flag the per protocol population flag is defined as all the patients who completed the study without any major protocol violations for example we have an, a protocol deviation data set in that they will mention all the subjects who has a major protocol deviation and apart from all the subjects who are not meeting that criteria who has does not have the major protocol violation those subject will include in the per protocol flag and the fifth one is completion flag nothing but which subjects are completed till end of the study that subject will include this flag and random fill nothing but randomization flag who has assigned the randomization number those subject will include the this flag and enrollment flag who are who was you know giving the an informed consent and enrolled in the study all these enrolled subjects will include the enrollment flag these are the subject level flags and the second is analysis flag to nothing but baseline flags baseline flags nothing but ablfl which having you know non missing value prior to the and uh, treatment or medication taken those type of records we consider as a analysis baseline flag for detailed analysis baseline flag you can check my interview question number 19 in that i have mentioned completely about ablfl flag and analysis flag 3 is criterion flag these flags 
I will explain in my interview question number 9 why these criterion flags are created, how we are using, various, uh, what is the use of this criterion flag in the Adam. I will clearly explain in interview question number 9. You can check in my videos. As analysis population flag 4 is analysis flag. Analysis flag nothing but ANL XXFL nothing but this axis is represent the period first period or second period you can check this flag also in my interview question number five visit windowing and anal flag in adam i will explain in detail in this video you can check my videos and interview question number five and the analysis population flag 5 treatment emergent flag treatment emergent flag generally we used in the adverse event data set which sub uh, which adverse events is occurring after taking the treatment generally we can consider it as a treatment emergent flag sometimes if the adverse event is there before the treatment and after the treatment the adverse event is worsen that type those type of adverse events also we can consider as treatment emergent flag thanks for watching with this video if you like the video please like share and comment if you want more interesting SAS clinical interview questions please subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching this video for more interesting SAS interview topics please subscribe my channel thank you